Have you ever wondered what autism spectrum disorder is? It's a question that many of us may have pondered. Autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, is a complex developmental condition. It involves persistent challenges in several key areas that most of us take for granted, like social interaction and nonverbal communication. Individuals with ASD may also experience difficulties with speech and tend to exhibit restricted or repetitive behaviors. But it's important to understand that ASD is not a one-size-fits-all condition. It's called a spectrum disorder because its effects and the severity of symptoms can vary greatly from person to person. For some, it may pose significant challenges, while for others, it might just mean they see the world a little differently. So let's delve deeper and explore what makes ASD unique. Now that we've defined autism spectrum disorder, you might be curious about the characteristics of ASD. Let's explore that in our next scene. So, what are the characteristics of autism spectrum disorder? Well, there are three main areas to consider. First, individuals with ASD often experience difficulties with communication and interaction. This could be anything from struggling to maintain a conversation, to avoiding eye contact, to having a hard time understanding other people's emotions and reactions. The second characteristic is the presence of restricted interests and repetitive behaviors. Someone with ASD might become intensely focused on a specific topic or activity, or they might engage in repetitive actions like hand flapping or rocking. Lastly, these symptoms cause significant impairment in important areas of life. This might mean trouble with social relationships or difficulties coping with changes in routine. But remember, these characteristics can vary widely among individuals with ASD. Some might have mild symptoms, while others may experience these characteristics more intensely. Knowing the characteristics of ASD can help you identify possible signs early on. But when do these signs start to appear? Can you guess when signs of autism spectrum disorder typically start to show? Often the signs of autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, can be observed in infants as young as 6 to 18 months. It's during this period that babies start interacting more with their environment, and deviations from typical developmental patterns may become more apparent. Common early signs to watch for include not responding to their name by their first birthday, not pointing at objects or people to show interest, avoiding eye contact, and showing a preference for solitude. These signs are not definitive proof of ASD, but they are indicators that something may be different. It's important to remember that every child is unique and develops at their own pace. However, if you notice these signs consistently, it may be a signal to take the next step. If you notice any of these signs, who should you consult and when? If you suspect a child may have autism spectrum disorder, who should you consult and when? This is a question that many might grapple with. The moment you notice any signs of autism spectrum disorder, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider. You see, early intervention can make a significant difference in a child's development. Now, you may wonder, which healthcare provider should you turn to? Pediatricians, psychiatrists, and psychologists all play vital roles in diagnosing and treating autism spectrum disorder. Pediatricians are often the first point of contact, and they can guide you through the initial steps. Psychiatrists can provide medical treatments if necessary, while psychologists can offer therapeutic interventions. These professionals work together to ensure a comprehensive approach to care, providing the best possible support for the child's unique needs. So don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, Early detection and intervention can make a world of difference for those with autism spectrum disorder. Let's spread awareness and understanding for a more inclusive world.